The mechanization of the casting of metallic type during the 19th century. For 350 years, Gutenberg's technique for casting metallic type underwent hardly any significant alteration. Even in the early 19th century, when the Koenig and Bauer high-speed printing machine injected far greater rapidity into the printing process, the technique of setting type by hand nonetheless endured. It was only at the end of that century when a precision engineer in the USA, Ottmar Mergenthaler, succeeded in mechanizing the casting procedure, enabling a whole series of mattresses to be filled simultaneously with molten lead, that it became possible to cast a line of types. Seen here is a further development, a monotype, now already equipped with perforated tape. The monotype setter would use a keyboard to input information. The perforated tape preserving these instructions was then attached to a monotype casting apparatus. Using air pressure, the perforations would control each matrix so that the emerging type would fall into the correct sequence with the requisite word spacing. Still central to this operation was the lead alloy that was to remain in use for a further 100 years. It was only in the 1960s that reliance on metallic type was superseded through the advent of phototype setting machines. And in the 1990s that these in turn gave way to digital typesetting. <laughs>